Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is two plants with white flowers each from true breeding strains were crossed. All F1 plants had red flowers. When these F1 plants were intercrossed they produce an F2 consisting of 177 plants with red flowers and 142 plants with white flowers. And two questions. Assuming that two independently assorting genes dictate flower color, given the data above, provide an explanation for the inheritance of flower color in this plant species, and b, propose a biochemical pathway for flower pigmentation and indicate which genes control which steps of the pathway. What is important for us to know is that two plants with white flowers, each from true breeding strains were crossed. All of the F1 plants had red flowers. And we also know that assuming two independently assorting genes dictate flower color. So now we know that there are two genes and we know that parental generation are true breeding and have white flowers. Imagine that we have one strain of the plants with genotype capital A, capital A and small b, small b and it is true breeding. What does it mean? That means that if we cross with itself, with the same genotype, with the same uh, strain, all the progeny are going to be of the same genotype and phenotype. So it would be capital A, capital A and small b, small b. Now imagine that in order to produce red pigment, we need two dominant alleles. For example, dominant allele A or gene A would produce substrate for gene B, which would produce enzyme, which would change conformation of this protein produced by gene A, and we will get red pigment. But because we have two defective B alleles, so enzyme is not going to be produced, which would change conformation of the protein produced by the gene A and pigment of the flowers uh, is not going to be produced, red pigment and flowers are going to be white. Now imagine different situation when we have another flower with genotype small a, small a and capital B, capital B and if we intercross with the same genotype all 100% of the progeny are going to be also of the same genotype and would have white flowers because in this case the protein which have to be a result of the gene A is not going to be produced and those this plant has normally functioning uh, enzyme B it's just not going to have a substrate to work on which uh, gene A have to produce and pigment of the flowers is going to be white so red pigment is not going to be produced but now take a look what's going to happen if we cross this true breeding and we call this true breeding because when we uh, intercross them phenotype of the progeny is going to be the same as phenotype of the uh, parents. So white flowers here, white flowers here, white flowers here and white flowers here. So this is what we uh, call true breeding. And now imagine what's going to happen if we cross these two strains. All 100% of the progeny which is going to be F1 generation and you may think that this is going to be F1 generation. No, this is just demonstration what is true breeding means. But here is parent 1, so this is parent 1 and this is going to be parent 2. And when we cross these two parents we are going to get F1 generation and take a look what's going to happen. From parent 1 progeny are going to get dominant allele A because there is no any other choice. But from parent 2 all F1 progeny are going to get for the gene A only recessive allele A. This is going to be genotype for the gene A and as for the gene B from the parent 2 all the progeny are going to get dominant allele B and from the parent 1 only recessive allele B and no any other choice. And here is going to be genotype of the 
uh, F1 generation and what color of the flowers are going to be because now each plant would have normally functioning at least one dominant allele which would produce a protein which is going to be a substrate for gene B which produce at least it has one dominant allele which produce normally functioning enzyme and that means that these plants will have flowers which are going to be red. Now let's read our problem again. When these F1 plants were intercrossed, they produce F2 consisting of 177 plants with red flowers and 142 plants with white flowers. So we have to explain these numbers also. Once again, we have F1 generation and we have to intercross it. So that means we have to cross with itself. So with the same genotype and parent one. So his parent one and parent two has the same genotype. And of course, uh, also would have flowers that is going to be red. But what is going to happen to their progeny? Their progeny is not going to be as uniform as parents in F1 generation. Take a look. For example, for the gene A, what's going to happen? Both parents are heterozygous. Parent 1 and parent 2. And let's take a look what's going to happen in their progeny. Capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. And you see the three quarters of such a cross would produce red pigment, three quarters. Would produce normal protein for the gene A, which would result in red pigment in flowers, but one quarter would result in non-functioning locus for the gene A, which would have two recessive allele and no pigment is not going to be produced because no protein is going to be produced if plant is going to be homozygous recessive for uh, gene A. And the same picture we are going to have with the gene B, parent 1 is heterozygous and parent 2 is also heterozygous capital B, small b, capital B, small b, parent 1, parent 2, and again, when we build simple Punnett square, we are going to get the same results as for the gene A. So we will have capital B, capital B here, capital B, small b here, capital B, small b here, and small b, small b here. If we will have in a progeny this genotype, that means normally functioning enzyme would be produced. And we have a probability three quarters that in a progeny we will have at least one of these two genotypes. Not three genotypes here, two capital B, capital B, and capital B, small b. Two genotypes and one genotype would be non-functioning, would produce enzymes that is not going to be functioning and what going to happen? Again, one quarter. In the progeny, we can expect following ratios of the genotypes and phenotypes. Three quarters, we expect to be uh, whether homozygous dominant or at least to be heterozygous. So three quarters would be able to produce normal protein and three quarters also would be able to produce normal enzyme and would have at least two dominant allele B or at least one dominant allele B. So probability that uh, the progeny would have red pigment would be three quarters times three quarters and this is going to be nine sixteenths. And what is the probability that other crosses would produce white pigment and flowers? It is very easy. All the rest except this would produce white pigment. So what we need to do? 16 over 16 is going to be 1 minus 9 
sixteenths is going to be seven sixteenths. And seven sixteenths would be probability that progeny would have white flowers. Nine sixteenths plus seven sixteenths would be sixteen over sixteen or one or one hundred percent. And this would account for just a little bit more than uh, a half. A half would be eight, right? Half of sixteen would be eight. So in the progeny, we will have a little bit more red pigment than white pigment. But the ratio is would be very close to one to one ratio. But this would be a little bit more. Let's return to our problem. And what we have, we have almost one to one ratio, but we have a little bit more uh, plants with red pigment than uh, flowers with white pigment. And this is the same ratio. Let's round numbers. For example, 177, we can represent as 180 and 142 as 140. We just round a little bit. Now let's divide these numbers by 10. We are going to get 18 to 14. And again, let's divide by 2 and we are going to get 9 to 7 ratio. This is the same as we got earlier here. 9 to 7. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.